Hello all my makeup lovers and thank you for coming back. So today I am doing a very exciting video. It's kind of, I think my first makeup video since coming back onto YouTube. And I'm so lucky that it is a, um, with my lovely group of ladies that I love to do my videos with. Um, they need no introduction, but because you can't physically see them behind me because they have their own videos, I will introduce them. I have, as always, Anya Stamper, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. She is literally my bestie here. Um, I have Danielle Gerstenberg, lovely lady who does such a beautiful uh, looks and cleaning, and she does so much on her channel. I have Ann Morrison, who is just a delight, and she has so much fun with her makeup, and you know, she does a lot of drugstore makeup, which I love because that's what I'm using today. I have uh, Val from Give Me Lip and More. She is actually a traveling nurse and she is, I believe, still in Tennessee. Val, if I'm wrong, I am so, so sorry. And she does a lot of challenges and she just has a video up, I just saw, uh, where she is doing palette bingo with her middle daughter. So please go check that out too. And last but definitely not least, I have Leanne. And I know, she's told me, Serrero, yeah. Uh, Leanne has so many things on her channel. She has a lot of um, box openings, uh, makeup, all that kind of good stuff. So please, I will link everybody's channel below. So please go check all of that out. And today, um, as a group, we decided to do a pastel look since it is Easter and kind of an Easter egg look, something like that. So, um, Pastels aren't always my colors to hit with, so I was a little like, Ugh, what am I gonna do? And um, so I found, I have not used this in like forever. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. Let's see if I can open it, because last night I put those lovely little fake nails, you know, the ones that look real if you're from a distance, but if you look close, they're those little cheap fake ones you can get. Yeah, I put those on last night, so now I literally cannot open anything, because that was a brilliant move to do. So, but this is what it looks like on the inside. A lot of really beautiful colors. And today I think I'm gonna be focusing mostly on, let's see, this orange one, this pink one, or pink one. I love how I point to blue and say pink because I'm an idiot. The blue one, which matches my nails so well. Uh, I think this pink one here and this purple one here might be a little bit of these two together and this one. I'm not 100% sure yet. Okay, what I do know what I'm going to do is I've already moisturized and I've already um, primed my face. Obviously, please God know that I did not put any foundation on because if this is my foundation, it is literally the worst foundation in the entire world and it would be going back. So I have my handy dandy little mirror, which will never change. And I'm using the NYX Jumbo in white or white in milk. Um, I want to put some white on my eyes so the colors will stand out more. At least that's the thought. Let's see if it actually happens. So, I'm gonna put this on my eye and we're gonna block the camera because that's what I do. I'm a professional. Please don't attempt to do these things at home. All right, and I'm just gonna get just my eyelid area. All right, sit that down. So, like I mumbled, I'm gonna start with this blue and it's gonna go in the inner corner again. If you don't remember from past videos, I'm just going to do one eye and do the other eye and the rest of my stuff off camera because if I didn't, this video would be 10 hours long and nobody got time to watch me for 10 hours. You do have a life and it is much more interesting than watching me. I'm gonna use my Morphe 321 brush and I'm gonna get some onto there. And we're just, like I said, gonna go into the inner corner And I've already screwed up, so I will tell you how I screwed up here in a second. But I've got to just finish what I started here. I meant to put down the um, 
the crease, which is going to be this. So let me do that really quick. I'm going to use my Morphe 506 brush. I'm going to put this down in my crease line and a little bit above it. Because I am older and have hooded eyes, I want you to be able to see this. FYI, you should have done this prior to putting the blue down, but hey, I'm a twit, so there you go. Again, as I've explained two seconds ago, I am not a professional, nor do I claim to be. I'm just a girl that likes makeup. And sometimes I do it well, and sometimes I don't. My Morphe 421 brush, just a flat brush here. And I want to put that just on the center of the eye. Kind of when you dip an Easter egg down, you put it in a bunch of different colors. That's kind of like the look I'm going for. And the flat brush gives me a little bit more preciseness. Is that a word? It allows me to get it to where I want it to be. How about that? How about I just say it how I want it to? And ever so gently, I'm gonna try to blend it into the blue. So it kind of looks like it transitions all into one. All right, now I'm gonna take another brush because I didn't bring my little switch down here. I'm gonna go into the purple. And I'm gonna bring that up into the back. And I didn't put any foundation on, not because I wanted to stare the dickens out of you and come on camera with no foundation on, Although that was a little funny that I frightened you with my foundation-free face, I have to admit. It's because I'm going to be taking the makeup wipe and making a little more of a exaggerated um, point there. So, just looking down to this down here. And I am just patting that into the outer corner. And I'm going to second here, try to blend that all into the pink one. I don't want to like take a brush and blend it all together because I do want them all to stand out as one. But I do want it to look like it transitions into the other one. If you know what I mean, and I think you guys do because you're all pretty darn smart. I was going to come on camera and have all my rest of my makeup on, but I thought, well, that's going to be stupid. Because then I'm going to be wanting to wipe part of it off, and then we're going to have to fix things and all of that. I'm just bringing it out to a point here, out to a point here which is okay because I'm going to be able to wipe that off in a minute. And just like that. All right. So now I'm going to take a clean brush, which is which one down here? Do, 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 do. All right, we're gonna take this brush. This is my 507, and I'm just kind of gently blend some of this. And once I do that, I am going to take back my one that I used my blue 
and I'm going to stamp that in a little bit more again. Make sure I get any hairs off of there. So I'm not putting hair. The joy of animals in your house will be that there will be hair all over. But I love them. So there you go. They get to have their hair all over. They get a free pass. Until I start screaming because there's hair in my eye. that. I'm just trying to brighten it up just a little bit. And there we have that. So I'm going to take my makeup wipe and FYI, spend the extra couple bucks and get the nicer uh, makeup wipes in general. I got this from Studio Selection. It's supposed to be a hydrating one. It smells horrible. I'm going to use it because I bought it, but it stinks, literally. So just spend some more money and get the better smelling ones because you'll be happier and you won't have a stinky face. And see how I just made it a nice little V up. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do the other eye, the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back and we'll do underneath the eye and we'll finish up. Cat has decided to take up residence behind me. So there's that. She may stay, she may leave. We never know what she'll do. I use my Milani foundation that, um, they came out with some new shades, oh, several months ago. And I picked one up and I think it's in 00B. I have been loving it been wearing it generally nonstop. Um, e.l.f. concealer, so I'm a little bit of Milani down here in my little laugh lines, i.e. wrinkles. Laugh lines my butt, they are wrinkles and I don't like them. If, Like I said before, if I knew smiling would have caused this, I would have gone on like this my whole life, not smiling, not doing my face, and not had any wrinkles, but I didn't, so there. Okay. I started to do it already, sorry. I got a little excited and started my makeup before I turned the camera on, but what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, this blue and I am putting it as close to my lash line like I can without literally blinding me. And we're gonna do that. And I think she's moving. She probably got uncomfortable. I probably bumped her, you know. All right. And let's get the other eye. I also put on some Milani blush. Um, I think it's in Coral Cove. I use my Jordana bronzer. And I put some black eyeliner down. I would have tried a wing, but you guys should know I Suck at doing wings. <clears throat> Suck at doing wings. So, yeah, we didn't do that. I will never be one of those YouTubers who will try to show you how to do a wing because I cannot do one. And I know practice and blah, 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 blah. But seriously, I don't think I can do it. I think my eyelids are too wrinkly or something for it and I know I could pull it and stuff but for me pulling my eyelids for me causes me more wrinkles and I would prefer not to get more any sooner than I need to okay I'm gonna take the other side that I didn't use and I am going to go in to uh, this beautiful yellow shade right underneath it and I'm gonna put that literally right underneath that We're just brightening up our eyes a little bit. Just like that. I don't know how well you guys can see it with my beautiful camera work here, but 
I said, if I ever get to a thousand subscribers, which seems like a far-fetched dream at this moment in time, I will purchase a real camera. And maybe I can be a real YouTuber. You think, guys? Could I do that? I don't know. And, of course, if she's not making a ton of noise behind me, she is not a cat. I got the whole house to be quiet, but her, no. Humans you can reason with, cat, you can't. And just like that, I'm actually liking this look. Please don't tell me you hate it in the comments below and tell me how I suck. That will make me cry. All right, I'm gonna put some white eyeliner down. Just making sure it's white. Just to brighten up the eyes. And basically the white's gonna intermix with the blue and it's gonna kind of be a white blue. So, because the whole look is light, I don't wanna put some dark eyeliner on my eyelids or a waterline. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna take a little bit of my uh, Physician Formula highlighter that I put on my cheeks, and we're gonna put that in our waterline. And this is my only brush I have to use that's clean, so we'll use my Real Techniques brush, which was not meant to do this. But you know what? Any brush can do whatever you want it to do, in my opinion. I'm not one to believe a brush has to do a certain thing and that's it. I think brushes can do whatever you want them to do. Okay, and we got a nice little sparkle. And now I'm going to be crazy. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Luminous in blue. So we'll have some blue eyelashes going here. Why not? Let's keep it festive. Now, and see how bright that is? It will not be that bright on my eyelids, but eyelashes, but still. It'll add a little something, something to the eyelashes, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not telling you, you have to do this look for Easter. I'm not telling you, you have to do this look at all because you might not be as kooky as me and like weird colors on your eyelashes. But I do. And I don't know if I'll do this either for Easter, per se. I'm going over to my boyfriend's family's house. And they do know I'm a little kooky, but still, I don't need to wear the evidence all over my eyelids. But we'll see. But I do think this is just a fun little pastel look that you can wear in the summer just to have a little fun. I'm just going to put a light on my bottom lashes. Now I sprayed my face before I came down because I knew I wasn't gonna wanna spray my face because I just put my mascara on. Last but not least, let's put some lips on. So I'm gonna put this bright orange on. La 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 la. Again, you don't have to do this. This is a little weird, but again, I'm trying to be springy. I put some highlight on my upper lip here. Sorry if you can hear the TV. My dad's in the den with the TV on. And I have no control over him either. Because he acts like he doesn't hear me when I ask him not to blare the television. Okay. And I got this in a little Christmas thing. I got like three different shades in it. So. And I don't even know if I've used this yet. This probably wasn't the best one. I probably should have picked up pink. 
but I just literally wanted to use all the colors I could in the day. So this is my look using, thank God I kept it here, the NYX palette. I really should bring this out more, especially now that summer is coming. You can do a lot of cute little looks with this. There's a lot of shades. Again, some of these shades for me take a lot of build up to bring out the beautiful shade color that it is. But, and again, there are one, two, three, four. I think there's four, one, uh, two, three, actually, no. <sighs> Allison. This one, this one, this one, and this one are slight shimmery shades. The rest are more of a matte shade. So this is actually a really cute little palette. It's a nice little weekend away one. You can easily throw this into your bag and you'll have multiple choices for the weekend. You can do even a darker look with the purples and the darker blues and stuff. So good palette. I need to use it more. It matches my nails. Isn't that pretty? So. All right, I want to say thank you for watching this. I want to say thank you to the girls for allowing me to be part of this collab. And I just want to thank anybody new who is tuned in. And if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be awesome. And I hope you guys have a good day and a wonderful weekend. And I will see you guys again, hopefully real soon. Bye-bye.